region of Kharkiv, according to the Ukrainian military. Major General Andrei Simonov reportedly died after his command post came under artillery fire by Ukrainian forces on Saturday, April 30. The bombardment also took out more than 30 Russian armored vehicles, including tanks. Videos circulating on social media appeared to show the command post being hit by Grad rockets fired from a multiple launch rocket system. Presidential advisor Alexei Arestovich said in an interview that some 100 Russian servicemen were also killed in a rocket attack. The rate at which the Kremlin is losing senior commanders appears to be setting new records in modern military history. Riho Terra said the senior commanders had to go to the front lines to try and motivate their troops. He said, but the spirit in the Russian troops is still disastrous. Why is it that so many high-ranking commanders, generals have been killed? Because they need to go to the troops in the front and try and encourage the troops to fight and get killed themselves. It only shows me that the spirit is not there. Russian forces are trying to push south from Izium towards Slavyansk, in a pincer movement designed to encircle Ukrainian troops defending the Donbass. The strategic importance of the Izium axis for Moscow was shown with the recent announcement that Russian Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov would take personal command of the offensive there. Ukrainian intelligence officials told the news outlet Defense Express that Gerasimov was already in theater and would command the offensive at the operational and tactical level. Reports suggest the Kremlin is strengthening its Izium front with additional troop deployments. Analysts for the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, noted that units from the Eastern Military District along with air defense assets were being sent from the Russian town of Belgrade to the Izium front. The new units would supplement Russian forces attempting to advance south of the Ukrainian city. However, the researchers predicted this would not lead to any major breakthroughs for the Russian forces, who are having to contend with Ukrainian counterattacks around Kharkiv. Russian forces appear increasingly unlikely to achieve any major advances in eastern Ukraine, and Ukrainian forces may be able to conduct wider counterattacks in the coming days. Two Russian generals were reportedly killed in the last week of April in the occupied part of Kherson region. 